mister. Hi. I can barely see you, it's so sunny. Good morning, everybody. It's Brittany at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Hi, Deb. Hi, Robin. Hi, Bella. Hi, Stephanie and Rochelle. Wow, this is Cyrus. Cyrus. Good morning, Elizabeth. It is bright and early. I have a ton of stuff to do today and I wanted to make sure we got some sort of walkabout in this morning. So whether you guys can catch it live or rewatch it. <laughs> Hi, Anne. Hi, Natalie. Good morning, Bethany. What are you doing, sir? Hi, Noor. What are you doing? Thank you so much for sharing, um, Sarah. That really helps us reach new people. It alerts everybody that we're live. Hey, Casey. Good morning. Hi, Susie. Good morning, Linda. My first live of May, and of course it's May 4th. I don't know how many Star Wars fans are out there, but may the 4th be with all of you. <laughs> may the 4th be with my husband. So he's a park ranger at Fort DeSoto, and today is the day that the beaches are reopening in Florida, and I'm a nervous wreck about it. I don't like the idea, but I guess we gotta see what's gonna happen. What are you doing over here, Chaos? Hi, pretty lady. This is Chaos Caracal. Hi. I knew you wouldn't stay long. I knew you wouldn't stay long. I tried. I tried to get her. She can show you that she can go really far away from me if she wants to. <laughs> All right, back over my love bug over to the love bug. Hi. I was gonna go over and try to see Kimba this morning. All right, sir. Let's go see what this baby tiger is doing. All right. Bye, Cyrus. Ooh, it is bright. Bright, bright, bright. Let's maybe not point you into the sun. I can't see anything, so I apologize if you guys are asking me questions or talking to me. Here's a baby Kimba. Kimba. He is on the move. I can't tell where he's gonna wanna stay. He's gonna go really far over there. All right. And people say we have small cages. Ha. I can't even find this tiger. He's way back there. Let's see. Kind of just want to see how his demeanor is with me in the mornings now that we're working together for operant. <laughs> he went all the way back over where my cart was. Little stinker. Up and over this bridge. Let's see if we can at least get a good morning chuff. So good morning everybody. If you're just joining, we've already seen Cyrus and a little glimpse of chaos, but that's been it. Oh, thank you for that chuff. Thank you for that chuff. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hi, handsome boy. So again, this is Kimba. He's our youngest tiger, one of our newest rescues. He's approximately about four years old. Whoa. Are you honking? Oh, and growling. All right, I won't press my luck. I just wanted to see how you were gonna be. 
Kimba came to us um, after circuses had been banned in Guatemala. Anytime they, the government makes an awesome decision like that, the cats definitely need somewhere to go. So lucky for him and many of the others, they went to accredited sanctuaries and good sanctuaries. Thank you for being a sweet boy. I hear him roar at people across the sanctuary all the time, so I just wanted to see how it was gonna be. <laughs> I just wanted to see. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> we got one chuff out of you, so I'm happy. I'm happy with that. All right, now if we can get out of here without a roar, that'd be great. As long as he doesn't think he can sneak up behind me. All right, bye Kimba. He's distracted. Bye sweet boy. Okay. <laughs> All right guys, that was successful. He can be very cranky pants in the morning, so I feel good about that. Yesterday I snuck out just long enough to um, give all my operant cats some enrichment because when I don't always, here's the view from the staircase, Kimba way over there again. Um, <laughs> I don't always have time to actually work with them with operant and they're brand new cats to me. So I'm trying to make sure that I build some kind of relationship with them. <laughs> Good morning pop over here and say hello to Kali. That's Beth Ann doing lockouts. So she's closing their feeding lockouts for breakfast. Got to get that done in a timely manner along with meds and supplements so that everybody can have breakfast. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> this is Kali. So we feed every single day here between eight and 9 a.m. So that is the most exciting time of the day for these cats, because these are captive cats. These are cats that should have been born wild and free, <laughs> but because they were born in cages and people bred them and raised them by hand, they can never go free. So their only hope is to get to go somewhere like a sanctuary where we can let them live peacefully for the rest of their lives. So they are excited because it's almost breakfast time. <laughs> She's stalking Beth Ann. So Max is still up front in our hospital recovery cage. Um, he did have a surgery and was neutered and he cannot be on dirt for it was 10 to 14 days. I don't think we're at either of those or we're getting closer. He's doing really well though, but he can't come back into his normal enclosure till he's all healed up and allowed to have access to water because all of our tigers have swimming pools. Very exciting. It's funny how this is the only bubble that your grass doesn't grow. <laughs> I know, why is that? Is it because you play a lot over here with Simba? Yeah. I know, baby girl. Thank you very much, Kelly, for the donation. 100% of your donations does go to the care of the cats here. Especially now that we are not open for tours or open to the public at all, your donations mean even more. Let's go see if we can find Simba. So our morning keepers are discussing where they're doing lockouts. <laughs> 600 people just saw your agility moves <laughs> yeah I've got too much to do if I don't get it done now I'm stuck in the gift shop yeah <laughs> hi Simba hi Sim Sim are you watching the lake oh how nice hi hi this is Simba. Wow. What? 
He's got a beautiful view, so if you want to see what he's looking at, we have a huge lake that we call Tiger Lake. This lake actually fuels their swimming pools. Simba has like three or four swimming pools. Thank you, Carol, for the donation. So he's got a big platform here he can lay on or under. He's got a big swimming pool. Look at him just relaxing. He's got a good view. This is also the best view for him to see when the feeders are coming his way. He's still got a little while though. Got all those lockout doors closed. I'll show you what I mean by a lockout door here in just a second. Look how handsome. My goodness. Good morning, Tammy. morning Chris good morning Shannon hey Melissa welcome to the party <laughs> he's just so sweet so Simba came here with Kimba who I showed you a little while ago and then Max is the one we talked about is in our recovery cage from his neuter my guess is eventually all three boys will be neutered we don't believe in breeding for life in cages, um, but also, I mean, these boys aren't gonna live with other cats, but in the long run, it really does a lot health-wise. Oh, that was some hot breath there. And it can prolong their life. It also helps calm them down in captivity. There's a lot of health benefits to spaying and neutering, so eventually that will happen. The boys are young enough. So this is a feeding lockout right here. So you can see there's a rope on a door. The door is closed. There is a water dish and then a huge concrete slab. So we'll drop their food in um, to that area there while he paces all crazy and scary over here. And then we open that door and then it's breakfast time. He's just so cute. How do you walk away? Yep, he's soaking up all the morning sunshine. This whole week is supposed to be gorgeous here in Tampa. Low to mid 80s, perfect sunshine all day. Should be really, really beautiful week. I think by the weekend we might get some more rain, which lately we seem to always need. It's very dry and dusty. I'm gonna backtrack because I think I left my cart somewhere down here. Maybe we can also see if Jasmine is out. Here's Kali again. Hello, Leah. Good morning, Nancy. If you guys just joined in, you can always rewatch um, after this feed ends. It's gonna post at dailybigcat.com. It's also gonna post on our Facebook page because we've already seen Cyrus and Chaos, Kimba, Kali, Simba. There's the Jazzy Pants. Whoa. Whoa. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. It's my first live in the month of May. I don't know about you guys, but did April seem like either the shortest month of your life or the longest month of your life? Like it was a whole year. What are you doing? Are you being sneaky? Whoa. This is Jasmine. Ooh, ooh. Ha. It's got such a unique sound. I don't want that end. Thanks. It flew by for you, Val. Natalie, yes, both at the same time. I agree. Some days I'd wake up, I'm like, are you serious? It's only the 15th. And then before I knew it, I was like, how is it the 30th? Well, she's just not that into us today. That's fine. She's more into Kali across the street. Laura, it was the longest. Yeah, long. Oh, homeschool. Oh, yes. My sister with my six year old niece and still working full time from home. Oh, boy. 
going to be a year to remember whether it's good or bad for everyone, huh? I don't know about you guys also, but I get really stressed out just listening to the radio or watching TV now because every single commercial has to discuss COVID and it's just really stressful. Hi, yes, I saw it. I saw the change in your eye. Jasmine, very sneaky before breakfast. Oh, hey, Tim. Hi, Chris. We just saw two of the Guatemala boys. So you guys can rewatch these at dailybigcat.com. Thanks again to everybody who's sharing this. When you share our live feeds, oh, there she goes. So she can show you that she's got a huge open air section way down there that I can't easily get to. But I can try. try to get down there but when you guys share our live feeds it really helps us reach new people and even though those new people don't always understand what they're seeing they can ask questions and we can answer them so look just how sunny it is my camera can't even handle the morning sun so this whole section down here is also Jasmine's enclosure it's where her swimming pool is She's just like, I'm gonna go as far away from you as I can. That's fine. That's the kind of life we give the cats here. If they wanna be seen, they can be seen. If they don't, they don't. She is way down there now. Hey, Shannon. She's destroying some grass down there. <laughs> she has to go way out of sight and be cute. Hey, stinker. Are we playing games? Yep, we're playing games. gonna come bursting out of that grass. <laughs> I don't want to ruin the surprise, but I also have to brace myself here. <laughs> At least you guys can enjoy the sound of running water while we wait on this surprise attack. Unless she gets bored. Jazz! <laughs> he knew it was coming. It just took a golf cart going by. Oh boy. Well, that was, that was something. <laughs> I know you're supposed to turn your back. I don't like doing that to them or myself. <laughs> but as soon as I saw Dylan on that golf cart, I was like, oh, that'll work. <laughs> she does love to chase the carts in the morning. Well, that was very silly. That was super silly. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I missed everything any of you said that whole time we were over there because I'm not going to not take my eyes off the tiger. <laughs> Here's chaos again. Hi, I found you. I found you. She loves me when I have food, but not when I don't. Chaos is a caracal that lives next door to Cyrus that you saw walk away from me earlier. Oh, I gotta love all their different little catitudes. It's so interesting how each of them pick different people to be like obsessed with. Okay, I found my cart. We did a nice little circle there. I'm gonna 
drive by Cyrus again. Hey, Cyrus. I know, handsome boy. Don't think Nikita has made her way over yet. Oh, we've got a vehicle. <laughs> Gail. Gail lives on property, but not this far in. I don't know what she's doing. There's the man. Hey, mister. This is Manny. He's also smart enough to know if I've brought food or not, and that's where his attention span lies. Manny will show you how much of an enclosure he has. Whoa, quick turn. Manny is, I think, our next birthday boy. I think I just scheduled him yesterday. He'll be celebrating a birthday on the 10th of this month. Yeah, that's about all we're gonna see of him. He's got a morning routine until you've brought him food. We'll take a look at Jinx and oh, there's Aries. Aries is out on funcation. Hi, mister. Wow. You wanna come say hi? Yeah. You better come say hi. Hi, mister. I think Manny will be 14. Hi. Hi. This is Aries Cougar. Yes, that is him purring. Yeah, breakfast. As soon as you hear those carts. So Funcation is 22,000 square feet. We rotate basically Manny and Smaller out here. Small cats get two weeks at a time. The Leopard, Jaguar, Cougar usually are out here for a month at a time. Helps give them a totally new environment, new enrichment. Hi, I see you. I'm gonna say hello to Jinx. Oh, you're not flat catting yet? Were you almost in position? And you saw us coming. Hi. Hi, cute boy. Hi. Hi, I missed you. I didn't get to see you yesterday. I didn't get to see you yesterday, and it breaks, breaks my heart. Yeah. This is Jinx. He is a black leopard. He is silent and stealthy. Where are you going? You can get in position. Nope, guess he's not ready to flat cat yet. So again, you can see that his feeding lockout, the door is closed, so he is all ready for breakfast. You getting your toy? You better get that toy, it rolled away from you. It rolled away from you, silly. Hi. <laughs> you don't want my camera. I'm sure you do, but you're not allowed to have it. Your toy rolled away from you. Hi. We love you. Gotta do some, some lawn care. You are so predictable. So predictable. Melissa, I second that. I can't thank you admins and all of our regular supporters that help keep these comments positive and educational for newcomers that actually want to learn about what we do here. We don't believe these cats should live in cages and we are a sanctuary that rescues them from bad situations. If we can stop from having bad situations to rescue them from, then we could put ourselves out of business. So if you guys haven't yet, please make the call of the wild. That's at bigcatact.com. 
keep these um, majestic and amazing animals out of people's basements and backyards and roadside zoos. <laughs> people from declawing them and defanging them and, and poor Jinx has not even got claws. You have one rogue claw that grows in the top of your paw because somebody thought it was a good idea to declaw you. Breaks my heart. But here they get to learn you know how to have their own personal space and get to do things on their own time. We love them and respect them from a distance. Goofy. You're very goofy. <laughs> that scrunch nose. Look at that scrunch nose. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't know how anyone can look at him with a straight face or be mad or negative. He's just so silly. Oh, yeah, that's what you get for eating grass. So silly. Go get your toy. Go get your toy. Get that ball. Get better get that ball. Yeah, Jumanji and Saber both had this really silly, goofy personality, yet were also very scary and intense. Um, I'll never forget being a red shirt watching Jumanji completely destroy his water bowl and his feeding lockout. Just out of nowhere. <laughs> but yet he could also just be the silliest, goofiest guy. Some, some kind of <laughs> trait in Black Leopards, I guess highly doubt in the wild, but maybe. <laughs> Shortcut. Thank you, Veronica, for the donation. Go get your big ball. There we go. That's always fun. Yeah, it's always very fun. Get your big yellow ball. You get it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh my word. Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. We've seen a lot of adorable cats so far today. <laughs> I don't know if we'll top this one. Thank you, Scott, for the donation. Some head rubbins. Get that ball. <laughs> I can't tell you for sure if cats have a sense of humor, but I've certainly known a few that I think they do. I look at cats like Jinx and Smalls and Flint and Cyrus and some of the hilarious things they do. Thank you, Teresa. Really appreciate your guys' donations. And they, they definitely know how to use toys and what to do with toys, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, my love. Wish everybody a happy May 4th. Hope you all have a great day and a great rest of the week and stay safe and stay healthy. You can rewatch this and all of my lives that I've ever done if you go to dailybighat.com. You can find them on our Facebook page. And if you just want hours and hours and hours of cat videos, you can go to our main YouTube channel, which is bigcattv.com. 
And if you've not signed up yet to be a supporter, I think I read something about if we get to 2,000 supporters, Luana will be, oh my goodness, sir. <laughs> Luana will be giving out um, Sapphire's book digitally for free. So if you have not become a Facebook subscriber, please do that. You can sign up right on our Facebook page. <laughs> that was the biggest mouthful I've ever seen you do. <laughs> uh, I just can't even with this boy. All right, everybody. Thank you. Have a great day. I hope I will see you all again tomorrow.